what is facilitating learner-centered teaching? Facilitating learner-centered teaching is a potent tool to help pre-service and practicing teachers or PT understand the fundamental pedagogical principles, processes, and practices that are ensured on learner-centeredness and other educational psychologists as they apply to facilitate the delivery of teaching and learning. So, that's the facilitating learner-centered teaching is. So, we have here the learner-centered psychological principle. So, the LCP or the learner-centered psychological were put together by the American Psychological Association. So, we have the 14 psychological principles per pertain to the learner and earning process but before that the 14 principles are divided into those referring to so the first one is it referred to cognitive and metacognitive second one is the motivational and effective the third one is the developmental and social and the fourth one which is the last individual differences factors so the 14 principles are divided into those referring. So, the first cognitive and metacognitive factor is, number one, the nature of learning process. The second one, which is the two goals of the learning process. The, the third one, construction of knowledge. So, the fourth one is the strategic thinking. And the fifth, thinking about thinking. And the sixth, context of learning. So, for motivational and effective factor, we have number 7, motivational and emotional influences on learning. Number 8, intrinsic motivation to learn. And number 9, effects of motivation on effort. So, and, uh, so for developmental and social factor, we have number 10, developmental influence on learning. Social influences on learning. For individual differences factor, we have number 12, individual differences in learning, 13, learning and diversity, 14, standards and assessment. So, and st structures facilitating learner-centered teaching. First, formal or traditional. Second, alternative learning system or all. So, it includes the non-formal education and formal education, the mobile teacher. The third one is the alternative delivery modes or the ADM. So, it includes there the modified in school of school approach or MIMOSA. Second, enhanced instructional management by parents, community, and teachers in PAC. The third one is the open high school program or the OHSP. Teaching methods. The term teaching method refers to the general principles, pedagogy, and management strategies used for classroom instruction. Your choice of teaching method depends on what fits you. Your edu educational philosophy, classroom demographic, subject areas, and school mission statement. Teaching theories can be organized into four categories based on two major parameters, a teacher-centered approach versus a student-centered approach, and high-tech material use versus low-tech material use. Teacher-centered approach to learning. Taken to its most extremely interpretation use, teacher are the main or the teacher are the main authority figure in a teacher-centered instruction model. Students are viewed as empty vessels or the external link who passively receive knowledge from their teacher through lectures and direct instruction. So, who possibly receive knowledge from their teacher through lectures and direct instruction? So, the students with an end goal of positive result for testing and assessment. In this style, teaching and assessment are viewed as as two separate entitled student learning is measured through objective score tests and assessment. Student centered strategies order are the, so this is the order the student centered teaching strategies or the strategies. So we have five strategies. So first is the choice boards. Choice boards allow students to select activities they will complete to practice a skill or demonstrate understanding second one is the jigsaw or station or centers 
Third, inquiry based learning. Fourth, project based learning. And problem based for learning. And the last is the plea classroom. So, some of us um trying to ask or or may think that what are the main important ideas behind learner centered teaching so by learning how to solve problem problems think critically apply information and integrate knowledge students can learn to think like expert in this discipline learner centered teaching encourage students to reflect on what they are learning and how they and how they are learning it so that's so that's it il m'a dit t'es où je te rejoins en tel moi je m'en bats les reins j'ai besoin d'un vrai job il a vu mes copines je crois qu'il a fâché je suis pas tout blanc bête à ma belle fessée je réponds à tes appels tu crois que je vais la fessée